A lot of retired Americans restore old cars, but not Gordon Kimball. He restores snowmobiles. I've got uh, probably 50, 60 of them out here. It was quite a mess when I got it, but I've got it all back together. Pretty, pretty original. It started as a simple hobby and has grown into an all-out obsession. Well, about three-fourths of my friends tell me I'm crazy, but I'm enjoying it. It started back in the 80s with a trip to Yellowstone. He got his first look at a restored beauty. He was hooked and has been restoring and collecting ever since. Some models are extremely rare. This particular model, he only made eight, so I feel, feel pretty fortunate in grabbing some of those. Others are just a little funny looking. It acts just like a motorcycle. It's got a lot of power. You can crank the throttle and that front ski will come right off the ground. Others you just wouldn't expect. And it uh, sounds just like a Harley uh, big bike, and it's real smooth riding and goes like crazy. No one might ask, where does he find the materials to fuel such an obsession? They're pretty hard to find, but there is, there is a few. I've I got to put the word out that uh, anybody has one around the back of their barn or haystack or in an old shed someplace that uh, is just resting away. I'd like to get a hold of it so I could save it before it's too far gone. How often does he actually ride them? Uh, not too often. There's a couple of them I take out once to twice a year, maybe, and every couple of years. And when asked what he plans to do with all of them, well, I hadn't really looked that far ahead yet, because I don't know when I'll ever finish. Depends on how long I live, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just haven't too much fun with them. In Idaho Falls, this is Mike Chesworth, Local News 8.